Well, a lot of teens spend hours with their heads buried in their smartphones, but one group is bringing back one of the oldest forms of communications. New on two, two news multimedia journalists, Randy Lane, takes us aboard the USS Batfish in Muskogee for Museum Ships Weekend. In the forward torpedo bay of the USS Batfish in Muskogee, Oklahoma. Kelsey Smith and Trevor Watts are scanning the airwaves for other ham radio operators. Station again, please. And their contact log shows they've been pretty busy. I like the foreign ones the most. We've talked to West England. He got Africa. Um, we got an airplane that wasn't foreign, but we got the airplane that was 38,000 feet over Arizona. Smith and Watts are two of ten students from Lawton's Viking Radio Club participating in Museum Ships Weekend. Thank you for, for the contact. An amateur radio event where operators try to contact as many museum ships as they can in two days. We've got uh, several hundred contacts at least. Uh, they get on the radio and uh, when the, the radio operators hear the young kids on there, uh, we call it a pile up. Uh, like you heard when she was on there, be, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 people trying to call in there and, and get a hold of one of these students. What do you guys usually talk about? Well, right now, typically the ship, because a submarine in Oklahoma is kind of an odd thing. We had one guy ask how we got a submarine in there. Uh, I wanted to say very, very carefully. This is the control room. This is where they lay out maps and figure out their course of action. The group spent the whole weekend on the World War II era sub, working out of the ship's radio room or the Ford Torpedo Bay. So there'd be two more beds up here. It's just really, really awesome to have taken the tour through here and heard all the stories that go along with it. And it's really a, a great boat. This is Whiskey Whiskey 2, Sierra Uniform Bravo. As a nation, we're losing uh, engineers, we're losing a technological edge. These students that pick up ham radio at a very early age, They'll walk into a math class, they'll walk into a science class in high school, and they'll go, oh, I've already done that. I did it in ham radio. Randy Lane, 2 News, works for you.